Second reading. Second reading, Senate File 1265. Second reading. Second reading, Senate File 1285. Presiding over the Minnesota House of Representatives, the Speaker of the House is a very important position. Signify by saying aye. Oppose nay. Stand in recess. Whether it's moderating a debate, announcing the results of votes, or performing other duties, the Speaker's role is expansive. Hearing no objection, the report is adopted. There have been more than 55 speakers of the Minnesota House of Representatives since Minnesota first became a state. Two speakers have been women, both from the DFL party. Dee Long served as the first female speaker of the House from 1992 to 1993. The second female speaker of the House was Margaret Anderson Kelleher. She served from 2007 to 2010. Inside the House chamber looks at two effects of the speaker, which help the speaker establish a tone of authority. Work began on Minnesota's current capital in 1896. Cass Gilbert, the architect of the state capitol, placed the speaker's seat at the front of the chamber, allowing the speaker to assume a position of power. This is one of the most important furnishings we have in the state capitol. This dates back to 1905. As you can see, it really typifies you know, a seat of importance with the Speaker of the House, but also it has the symbols of Minnesota. They have a North Star here for the North Star State, and then in French, the state motto, L'Etoile du Nord, which is Star of the North. Unfortunately, the chair fell in disrepair and was stashed away in the House retiring room for many years. Representative Mary Murphy remembers it well. It had sat with a rope around it in the retiring room and nobody ever used it and the rope was around it so you couldn't. But during the restoration of the House chamber between 1989 and 1990, the House Restoration Committee brought the Speaker's chair out of the retiring room and had it restored. Representative Murphy was the vice chair of the committee. We had that restored so that we could use that permanently at the House chambers. It was refinished, repaired, and then brought back here to be in its uh, dignified space as it originally was in 1905. And so this is really kind of a, a neat part of our state's history and our, our House of Representatives chamber history as well. It's not just the speaker's chair that carries significance. Even the speaker's gavel has a story to tell. The gavel is considered the speaker's symbol of power. With it, the speaker can call order. In the Minnesota House of Representatives, the gavel is enshrined in tradition. It's become the tradition of the House that each new member, when they're elected their first day as a speaker, they receive a brand new gavel. When their speaker term is up at some event after they've, their time in service is gone, they're presented with the gavel that they used during their term as speaker. Whether it is the speaker's gavel or speaker's chair, both effects of the Speaker of the House help establish an air of power while being rooted in the history of the Minnesota House Chamber.